हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द नीट पीजी 2021 पैटर्न क्वेश्चन लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट अ 34 ईयर लॉयर इज स्ट्रक इन द आई बाय अ गोल्फ बॉल सो इट्स अ बॉल इंजरी ब्लंट ट्रॉमा लॉन्च्ड बाय एन ऑफथर्मोलॉजिस्ट लुक एट द पिटी नाउ द ऑफथर्मोलॉजिस्ट रशेस द लॉयर टू हिज ऑफिस एंड एग्जामिन्स द आई what he did he get he get a 20 percent hyphema present in the anterior chamber obviously hyphema is present in anterior chamber only but the good thing is no rupture of the globe is present now this question has three parts that we are going to do in three different uh, sessions now the part one says the traumatized eye the traumatized eye is at risk for developing all of the falling types of glaucoma except so basically if you analyze this case this is actually a case of the blunt trauma now what uh, you have already seen is that there is actually 20 percent hyphema hyphema is nothing but the blood in the anterior chamber and uh, what kind of glaucomas can develop in this patient your options are angle closure glaucoma open angle glaucoma angle recession glaucoma and phacolytic glaucoma they are asking all except so it's a except kind of a question which kind of glaucoma will not develop in this patient so let us try to talk about the types of glaucoma that can occur in this patient so if i talk about this hyphema which means the blood in the anterior chamber now if i am having the blood in anterior chamber this blood actually consists of the rbc and this rbc can go and block the trabecular meshwork yes or no so basically i can get what you called as the secondary open angle glaucoma so one kind of glaucoma that can occur is by the blockade of these rbcs second important thing is that blunt trauma can also incite the inflammation so due to the trauma if i have the inflammation uh, we can have the uveitis and due to the uveitis i will have the aqueous cells as well as aqueous flare now what will happen these cells will again flow in the aqueous humor and they can again cause the trabecular meshwork blockade so again trabecular meshwork blockade will cause the secondary open angle glaucoma so yes open angle glaucoma can occur what else the other thing that a blunt trauma can cause is actually the angle recession another important thing is the angle recession now what do you mean by angle recession angle recession means that there is a distortion at the angle where you are having the tear okay between the longitudinal between the longitudinal as well as the circular longitudinal as well as circular muscles of the ciliary body right so if there is a tear between or there is a separation between the longitudinal as well as circular muscles of the uh, ciliary body so what is happening there will be broadening of the angle this will lead to the distortion of the angle so this can also cause the glaucoma this is called as the angle recession glaucoma this is called as the angle recession glaucoma now can secondary angle closure glaucoma can occur now if you look at the previous when we were having the inflammation now due to the uveitis you could have the posterior sinicky yes or no and due to the posterior sinicky we can have the formation of iris bombay and due to the iris bombay formation you can have the acute congestive glaucoma due to the acute congestive glaucoma we can have peripheral anterior sinicky and due to the peripheral anterior sinicky we can have the chronic congestive glaucoma so that means even the secondary angle closure glaucoma can also occur in this case now let me show you how this sinicky can lead to glaucoma this is again an important thing if you look here this is your cornea and uh, normally iris is something like this and you have got the lens all right now here you have got the ciliary body and uh, you have got the aqueous humor coming out here and uh, coming out here so normally when the aqueous humor is coming out from the ciliary body this is your posterior chamber and then it is passing through this pupil and then it is coming in this anterior chamber so it is going something like this this is also going something like this then it is going through this angle this one is your angle of anterior chamber and 90% uh, of the drainage if i talk about 90% is draining through the trabecular meshwork this is the normal route 
Now, if you have the posterior synecky, first of all, try to understand what is the meaning of the posterior synecky. Whenever I am saying synecky, this is always with respect to the iris. Uh, synecky are always named with respect to the iris. So, if I am saying posterior synecky, they are posterior to the iris. So, posterior to the iris, I will be having between the iris and the lens. Between the iris and the lens, I am having. Now, due to these synecky, what is happening now? This aqueous humor is not able to flow. This is also not able to flow. So, we have lot of aqueous collection here. So, lot of aqueous collection will be taking place here. So, what will happen? This aqueous collection will push the iris forward. So, it is going to push the iris forward. So, it becomes uh, something like this and um, the iris becomes something like this. You have got the iris bombay formation. So, iris bombay formation means we have got the ballooning of the iris over the cornea and the lens is at its normal place only because you have got lot of aqueous collection. You have got lot of aqueous collection here. Now, due to this, now what is happening? You have got sudden closure of angle of anterior chamber and obviously there will be a cat attack of acute congestive glaucoma. Now, when you are having the attack of acute congestive glaucoma and um, you are not treating it and they are occurring again and again, you will have the synecky here, anterior synecky. It means anterior to the iris and now this will lead to the chronic synecal angle closure glaucoma. So, we can have acute synecal uh, uh, that is acute congestive glaucoma also. We can have chronic synecal angle closure glaucoma also. We can have angle recession glaucoma also. We can have have um, trabecular block glaucoma that is open angle glaucoma also. So, if you look at the options here, what is not found? So, which type of glaucoma is not found? Angle closure glaucoma? Yes, it is found. Open angle glaucoma? Yes, it is found. Angle recession glaucoma? Yes, it is found. So, answer to this question is the phacolytic glaucoma because phacolytic glaucoma is a glaucoma which is occurring in your, um, in cases of the morgagnian, morgagnian type of the hypermature senile cataract where you know you have got the disintegration of the cortex. Due to the disintegration of the cortex, nucleus will settle at the bottom and these proteins will start leaking through the capsule. They will go and they will block the trabecular meshwork. So, that is also open angle glaucoma but it is not found in cases of the blood trauma. So, the answer will become the phacolytic glaucoma. Stay, stay tuned to see the next part of this question in the next videos. Till then, bye-bye, thank you and happy ophthalmology.